Hello, today we're going to be demonstrating how to create a contour cut path for a graphic and prepare it for use in a RIP software like Onyx Thrive or Roland VersaWorks. Let's start here by opening a file, click on file, hit open, and select the file you wish to use. For this demonstration, we'll be using a koi fish graphic. All right, we'll be working with three different panels here, the layers panel, the pathfinder panel, and the swatches panel. If you don't see these panels in Illustrator, you can find them in the window menu in the top bar. Now navigate over to the layer panel. With your graphic layer selected, click the options icon for the layer panel located in the top right corner and select duplicate. Before we do anything else, we need to rename these two layers. To rename a layer, you just need to double click it. For the top layer, name it the same name as your graphic file. I'll use Koi Fish. For the bottom layer, we need to rename it to Cut Contour with no spaces, a capital C in Cut, a capital C in Contour. This naming convention will actually be more important in our last step when we are creating our Cut Contour swatch, but just for consistency sake, let's keep this the name of the bottom layer. Next, I'm going to change the color to green so it stands out nicely. Now let's turn off the visibility on the top graphic layer by clicking the eye icon. This will make the layer invisible for now, so we can work on the bottom cut contour layer. Okay, let's move over to the Pathfinder panel now. We need to make the graphic a compound shape. To do this, select your graphic with the selection tool by clicking and dragging a selection box around the entire graphic. Then, in the Pathfinder panel, under Shape Modes, click the first option, which is the Unite mode. This shape mode combines all the selected objects and merges them into a single compound shape. If the objects are different colors, the merged shape takes on the color attributes of the topmost object. As you can see, we still have some lines that we need to get rid of. Let me show you a quick and easy way to do this. Select the compound shape that we just created, then right click and select Release Compound Path. Instead of deleting each line one by one, let's select the outer path of the graphic go up to the top menu and click Object, Lock, Selection. Next, we need to click and drag a selection box over the remaining lines and hit the Delete key on your keyboard. Now, navigate back up to the Object menu and select Unlock All. This will release the lock we just placed on your outer path. Alright, now we have a solid shape we can work with here. With your shape still selected, let's go up to the top menu and click Object, Path, Offset Path. The offset path window will pop up. Now click the preview checkbox, which will show you a preview of how the offset is being applied. Offset path does exactly what the name implies. It will create a duplicate of your path that is offset by a specified distance. The section here that says joins modifies the type of angles that the ends of the offset path will have. There are three types here, the meter, which is a pointed corner, the round, which is a rounded corner, and the bevel, which is a squared corner. For this project, you can leave joins set to meter. The meter limit pertains to how far the points can extrude from angles in the shape. The default is 4, which isn't always ideal for sharper angles, but will work fine for this example. Now let's change the offset value to 0.25 inches and hit OK. After that, we need to select the inner shape and hit the delete key on your keyboard. The path we are left with will be the contour cut path. Next, let's grab the magnifying glass tool and zoom in on the path. Go to object in the top menu and select expand and then hit OK. Now let's switch to outline view by going to view in the top menu and clicking outline. Then we select our path, right click the lines and hit ungroup. Select the lines once again, right click, and select Release Compound Path. Now click on the inner path and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Now back to the top menu and select View, Select, Preview. Click View once more and select Fit All in Window. Our shape path is pretty much done here. Now we just need to do a little setup to get it ready for the RIP software. In this last step, we will be creating a cut contour swatch so the RIP software can read the cut path. In the swatches panel, double click the color stroke and change the color values to 0 on cyan, 100 on magenta, 0 on yellow, and 0 on black. Then hit OK. 
click and drag the stroke color into the swatches panel and then release. Now double click on the new color swatch to bring up the swatch options window and change the swatch name to cut contour. That is with no spaces between the words and a capital C for cut and a capital C for contour. The details in this final step are important so that the RIP software will correctly read the cut path. Now we'll change the color type to spot color and the color mode to CMYK, then hit OK. We can now make the top layer visible once again by selecting the top layer and turning the eye icon back on. This will give us a nice view of our contour cut path around our graphic. Alright, so we've successfully created a clean contour cut path for our graphic and prepared it for the RIP software. Now you're ready to go print and cut. We hope this video helped you. Let us know in the comment section what kind of videos you'd find helpful. We definitely plan to make more sign and graphic related tutorials like this in the future. Subscribe to get notifications on our latest videos and we'll see you next time.